Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Next week, I begin reviewing Regia Sweet Naturals in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's Black-owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. Starting with the last brand I reviewed, Yamini Essentials, I will now release an ingredient walkthrough video prior to my first reviews. The walkthroughs will look differently depending on the ingredient list that I encounter. And I say encounter purposely because sometimes I just feel attacked with the nonsense some people are bottling and selling to people. Not any of the products that I've been reviewing and will review in the future, so let's just say the ingredient list I am so cordially introduced to. What I present will also depend on what I have covered in previous videos and to what extent. To note, Regia Sweet Natural does not list chemical ingredients other than the one preservative. In this video, I will cover six ingredients. These six are gonna be in place of also talking about things like olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, shea butter. They use all of those ingredients, but you've likely heard about those in other videos or you know, just having been going through and living your life. I have picked out just the lesser known ingredients. A few of these are also replicated throughout the collection, so this should be a good view into the ingredient like scope. The first ingredient is the preservative, potassium sorbate. This is a gentle man-made and food grade preservative and it protects against both yeast and mold. Note though that there are some people that are allergic to potassium sorbate or sensitive to it, so those people may experience skin irritation after using it. I don't happen to have sensitivities to potassium sorbate, so for me, I consider this a very safe preservative to use and I'm adding it to my safe preservatives list. Number two is acai berries, and this is in the shampoo bar only. It is rich in vitamins B, C, and E, and it is effective for reducing hair loss. The mix of vitamins along with its high fatty acid content also aid in nourishing the scalp by keeping it hydrated and also creating a protective barrier against external factors which could otherwise contribute to hair fall. Number three is kiwi extract. This is one of those powerhouse ingredients, so I'll just offer a few highlights. It hydrates the hair strands, fights against premature graying, something that I'm actually targeting right now, it improves blood circulation and therefore stimulates the hair follicles, in turn promoting hair growth. And in addition, it treats both dandruff and eczema. Number four is mango extract. This helps fight dandruff while adding a natural sheen. It also aids in blood circulation and cell regeneration. Number five is hemp seed oil. This helps to nourish the scalp, seal in water, and boost blood circulation. It also strengthens both hair and scalp and has anti-inflammatory properties. Number six is hibiscus extract. This helps protect against hair loss, aids against premature graying, thickens hair and adds volume, treats dandruff, conditions hair, and fights against breakage. And then number seven, the last one, is vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant, which means it improves the overall scalp and hair health by reducing free radical damage. I go into depth in another video about antioxidants and also about inflammation, and I will link that video both in the cards and below in the description box. Vitamin E can also help replace the protective layer on the hair strands, bringing back your natural shine. So this one really was a short list and I have finally, I hope, created a short video. For all of the products that I have, I believe there is a maximum of like eight ingredients per product, so this one was a lot easier to review. One thing to note though, given all of the products do not contain preservatives, I think I only came across the potassium sorbate in two or three of them, and the ones that do use potassium sorbate, it's a relatively mild preservative. The products may not last more than a few months in a cabinet. So if you wanna keep them longer, you have the option of also storing them in the fridge. A subscriber alerted me to this potential spoilage issue. Faye in the City, she has a YouTube channel, reviewed these products a couple months back. This is the video that, the, that my subscriber referred me to and her products have spoiled. I don't know the timeline and I haven't watched the video yet. I don't like to watch other people's reviews on products that I'm going to be reviewing because I don't like any kind of like subliminal influence, but there is a pinned comment that I did see in her video with the update. 
I have linked the relevant video also in the description box below, so check that out if you are interested. I'm very much looking forward to my three weeks using Regia Sweet Naturals, so wish me and my hair good luck. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you on my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.